now. Yeah, we're back. We're back. Yeah. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Uh, they can happen to you. Hey, Brad, uh, while uh, we were uh, dealing with our antifreeze loss on the computer, uh, <laughs> a couple questions came in that were actually kind of cool, just from what little people have seen so far. Yes. Um, so where else, so Dear Beer Kaiser, uh, Dear Beer Kaiser asks, where else will those sigils and ban banners appear in game? Um, okay, well you'll see them, um, basically like any any list in the game, you'll see them show up. We don't, or where we don't have them, we made the decision to not put them into the world, just because there's, I mean it's kind of like just a technical hoop that we'd have to jump through, like there's a lot of like, Jeff you probably understand more of this, is that right now they're all in flash and we'd have to render them out into a texture and then yeah. get that texture on a dynamic thing and get that applied to yep, like yep. an actual piece of cloth or whatever that's like in the world. And we just decided when we were doing the um, like doing the system and doing the like um, you know where it's going to appear and all these things, we just realized that like the characters are usually pretty small and that you you know like that's where you would want it like on their chest piece or somewhere you know cool. Actually, we did a. Oh okay. Yeah. Did you have it still not? Still not. We're going in with this. It seems fine. Nope. Now we're live. Okay, we're so live now. Now we're live. Now we're live. Now we're live. We're back. So did they get any of that, or should I re-ask the question? Okay, so, so Brad, while we were waiting for stuff to get fixed, um, Der Bierkaiser asked a, a really good question. Like, um, uh, where else will they see those sigils and banners in the game? Yeah, so like early on when we were developing the system for the sigils and stuff, like we talked about how awesome it would be to be able to see it, like on banners and actual like in the keeps and like especially yeah. like on the characters and stuff. But we just when we were doing mock-ups for what it would look like, we actually did one during the Kickstarter where you saw the guys like wearing tabards and stuff. Yeah, that's right. Um, but wow, like wow, when we did the final version of the characters, it like didn't seem to make as much sense. Um, we wanted the actual like the armor of the of the character class to be more prominent and like take up more sort of like visual room on the dudes. So the room, the, the room on the character for where we could even like display the sigil was like kept getting smaller and smaller and then yeah. we were just like, okay, we'll just use the colors. That was, that's kind of how it went down, right? And then there's yeah. also the technical thing of like, yeah. we have to like render it out to a texture and then put it through a dynamic system sure. and then like apply it to stuff. And that's just like, you know, is it is it worth it in order to do that? You know, when, when really the characters are small, if you just have it in the UI, it, you know, you'll make the connection between the guy that's wearing red, like in this guy's case of Adrian Kwan, he's got red and black on his like outfit and his sigil is red and black and you just begin to like put those together. Well, and, those, and those colors are pushed through the entire game too. If you put them into a keep, the the, right. the colors of the keep become of the house. And, yeah, and we'll probably see that in this playthrough, like the like the uh, regent sitting there and like everything's kind of using his or her colors. It's pretty rad. Brad Muir already instigating attacks and whiffing. Uh, I didn't say it, Jeff did. <laughs> I but... did. Yeah, I totally whiff that. So there's actually a bunch of new features um, that, that we've put in. One of them is like these, uh, as, as I mouse around, if you look at the enemy flags, you can see this like eyeball next to them. And that's like, if I were to move to the spot, could I actually see this character? And it's really helped, like, especially when you're moving ranged characters around. Like if I were to move this hunter here, he could not shoot that guy on the right, but he could shoot the other guy uh, at the top of the screen. But if I move him down here, it's like, oh, cool. So I'm going to do that. Also, like, um, I don't know if you guys saw it. You'll see it a lot. Um, that's really good that I did that, right? Mm -hmm. Now he's now he's got exactly one hit point. That's I love really those great. Idols. That free throw up in there, sir. Yeah, man. You want to just double it up? Yeah, why not? Yeah, you can only live once, Brad. He's got grenades. All right, grenades for days. Uh, and see, oh, aren't you glad you did that? Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't ever listen to us. <laughs> Doing it again. Yeah, all right. See, that was a coin flip and yeah. then two grenades, but we got them. Got there. Oh, man. I still love um, that. Yeah, the, okay, there's a bunch of audio that's gone in the game. So listen for enemy sounds. Uh, that's a big thing that's gone in there. Get it. <laughs> hey, uh, Brad, one thing that uh, noticeably has not gone into the game that a lot of guys in the chat are asking for would be a new mouse cursor. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I Derek is put, fully put, aware of that, <laughs> and uh, when we bring him out for this, uh, we'll be sure to make fun of him for the mouse cursor. You know what the new cursor right. should be? It's a bee. 
We've been talking about getting a bee mount in the game. It could just be the cursor. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, like a bee with a little saddle on it. Uh, <laughs> Max and Nick, the, the twins, the writers, they just texted me today, and they said that they put their first bee mount, allusion to bee mount, into the script. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> a milestone so, like, has been made, people. Like, I'm super stoked that we'll actually have... Um, will actually have a uh, B-mount reference in the game, which is, you know, really doing the important work that, w that we need for the game. It's great. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's great. Oh, right here. So when a new enemy has been uncovered, Chad put this, this feature in. When a new enemy has been sort of revealed, at the end of your movement, it will actually, the camera will come over there. It'll give you that, like, enemy spotted. And we just found that when we were playing the game, you would sometimes, like, reveal an enemy with, a double move from one of your characters, and then it would just, you wouldn't actually see that enemy, it would just switch over to the next character, and you wouldn't even be aware of it, and then the enemy turn would kick in, and you yeah. would just get slapped, and it would be terrible. Um, another thing that we did, that Chad did, was like, there's lots of um, new combat tech stuff um, going on, so look, look at the flags next to the characters when they perform actions, and things like that, like when they take damage, um, you, can, you can kind of see it popping out of the side of the flag um, there, and it's like, yeah, there are all sorts of things that we have in there. There's um, uh, damage, healing, like we, we sort of decided on the system where negative things pop out to the, to the right of the flag and positive things pop out to the left of the flag. So there's like positive, so damage comes to the right, healing comes to the left, positive buffs um, to the left, and then negative buffs to the right. Uh, and then there's also like when they level up, you get a really nice big big thing on their flag, yep. and uh, the battle cry comes out of there as well in a mm. really nice stylized way. And uh, the other thing is that it's very sequenced. Um, that was a thing like where lots of things happen at the same time. Like a good example would be like um, when you hit a guy with a knockback attack, it's like it knocks him back and it stuns him and it does damage, and then he might hit another guy, and then you might level up and yeah. you might like trigger some thing. And it's all, all that stuff is stepped out so you can actually like see them spaced out in time so you get the actual individual events so that your brain can actually like process what the hell is like happening during all of it. Um, it's really useful. And it's funny, like in this, I think in a tactical game like this, that's one of the biggest things that's not talked about that's a real challenge is information conveyance. Like, you know, it's not a sexy topic, but you gotta, you gotta figure that out. I know you and Derek and uh, Shoot, I think almost a lot of the team chimed in. Chad was a big contributor, like, how do we get all of these messages conveyed to somebody on the battlefield? What are you gonna do, Brad? It's pretty good, we're gonna do it. Oh, nice. So you saw the um, the 20 XP fly out of the guy and then the uh, battle cry fly Spill out of his head blood. as well. I think that's safe, right? Yeah, there's not a lot of spots you can stand over there. Yeah, it's, oh, oh good. that was. <laughs> <laughs> but Whoops. that was a perfect example where, like, you know, I wouldn't have seen those guys until they started running. Um, this could be bad. Hmm. Okay, that guy, <laughs> that guy just scooted, scooted, yeah, that guy like, just scooted like, into the fog wall. Like, all right, dude. Um, oh, the, the animations. We were talking about animations earlier. So, Jeff, you set up a lot of the, yeah, all basically of, all of the placeholder yeah, animations. All, all of the, the placeholder game. animations have been replaced uh, with, Nice animations, I should say. Uh, final your, animations? Your animations were nice. <laughs> Let's be serious. They were nice. I'm really sad nobody got to see my awesome Caber Slam <laughs> animation. <laughs> <laughs> there were some that were more placeholder than others. Yeah. You just say that. But, like, you know, just to get the timing down, like, oh, it's yeah. good to just yeah, have yeah. something and sort of, like, spit it out pretty fast. Um, and then uh, we actually used um, this... Uh, uh, are they, like... How would you describe them, Anthony? We're, our, our buddies they're, they're over like at a contracting oh, house. Super Genius. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. they're a, they're an art outsourcing house basically, but they're they're a pretty high quality one. We've used them before at the studio, and you know, Double Fine has always set a high bar for art requirements and quality. And these guys met them, and I mean, the guys we work with there, Jeff, no, they, they were very were professional. They were, they were awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah, super great. Big shout out to Super Genius. Those guys are juggernauts. They really, really did a great job with this stuff. I'll take you with me. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, someone, uh, I think it's. Sculpels asked how many different banners are in the game, and right now, Brad, we've approved oh, a lot. We well, yeah, we've approved what uh, I think total twenty five hundred, no twenty three hundred. Including... There are I think there are twenty three hundred total. I don't think that we've gotten all of those. I don't think we've gotten all. That of is them a total count, yet. right? There um, were like three hundred non or thematically non appropriate, and like thirteen hundred or twelve hundred uh, 
a, a formally approved, so yeah. Yeah, there's, there's gonna be a ton. Um, yeah. We're also talking about, we'll probably show it next time. Um, <laughs> glancing. Glancing, glancing blow. Um, we'll probably show it, show it on the next stream. Um, is it, this guy should totally just take the damage, right? Yeah, it's just, just one. He's got plenty of hit it's points. It's just one damage, he's got 11. As long as he kills the guy. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. I feel like you got, you got the gunner from Spaceballs oh, in here. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I said across her nose, not up it. Okay. There you go. For the dire, is that a... Uh, hmm. That might be a Dota reference. <laughs> <laughs> possible, possible. Yeah, so um, I don't know if we finished talking about that, but yeah, the super genius, super good uh, outsourcing company. And <laughs> Not to be confused with super giant. Super giant, right? Yeah. I, kept yeah. calling them, I kept calling them that. I feel bad. Um, I'm sure they're used to it, but they were uh, they were super great to work with, and um, yeah, a, a lot of the animations are just like totally in and like in a final state. They also did a bunch of new animations. Um, yeah, for, a lot of the idols. We just call them idols, yeah. Like, you can see, um, like, yeah, well, whoops. Let me just select this hunter. And you'll sort of see randomly, like, she'll just play some different animations, like, while she's just sitting there. Uh, so we have, like, five of them for all the heroes. Um, like that one right there. Just, like, small little fidgety kind of animations yeah, so and stuff. Her, gives like, them a little life. Fixing you know? the bow and, like, doing different things with it. Um, yeah. So we've got five of them for each of the heroes. Um, and then we've got uh, three of them for each of the enemies. Yep. And they just kind of like, you know, busted those out. Like they just did an awesome job. So. Yeah, and those are the things we can always expand when there's extra time because they're so easy to add to the game. Yep. So like, oh, yeah, like if we're going to have a ton of extra time. <laughs> but besides that, uh, like <laughs> we break the millionth unit sold, then we'll be like, you know what? Idols for days. Yeah. <laughs> All the days. I'll have breakdance sessions while they're waiting. It'll be awesome. <laughs> That way we can get our B-mount mini-game. B-mounts, right? We can put B-mounts in the game at yep. that point. For sure. <laughs> B-mounts confirmed. You can totally do a B-mount joust. B-mounts confirmed. B-mounts confirmed. Joust game. Yeah. Um, Brad, uh, Mizium asks... Uh, uh, it's a good name. Like the skin. Do you guys know if there are multiple the difficulties? Mortars. So obviously we do know that. Like, can you can we talk about? We just recently did yeah. some uh, some work with our difficulty ramp up, right? We definitely did. I mean, we're trying to balance it for what I would consider to be like the normal, quote unquote, normal difficulty, which is actually going to be pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, like, we want good. the normal difficulty to be pretty hard, and like your first playthrough, if you played it on normal, uh, I don't expect you to like get through the whole game. You know. Like, uh, there's so much randomness in the game, I think that it's totally okay if people have to start over. Um, I'm like totally fine with that, like if you wanna play it on normal. If you wanna play it on easy, like like we're planning on having like an easy, a normal, and a hard. Right. For yeah. maybe we'll call them something else, but I probably not, honestly. Um, oh, that guy already took his turn, whoops, whoops. Can we get a special mode below easy for me where it's like, you can call this hotline number, and someone from Double Fine will help out and play your game. And then just one button. Yeah, exactly. It's just called the Anthony button. Yeah. So whenever you hit it, it just plays the game for you. It just and it's just action. Yeah. Do action. <laughs> right on. Um, yeah, I mean, we're planning to have like an easy, normal, hard. Usually, the way that the way that I like to do it, or I mean, I think it's probably the way most people like to do it, making video games, is you balance your sort of like what you consider your standard or like normal. Um, and you get that in a good spot, and then you think about ways to make it harder, ways to make it easier, and we implement those. Right now, I think that the biggest ones are just like on the tactical side, yeah. you know, like um, amount of damage the enemies do, um, amount of HP they have. Uh, what other things are they? Oh, evasion other accuracy. And accuracy. And accuracy. Yeah. Like it's really easy for us, like especially since it's turn-based. Like I think it's really easy to like tweak these things and make the game like a lot more difficult and a lot more unforgiving. The, of, like, the amount of experience mistakes. they give your heroes. The amount of XP you, can, you yeah, get. Like, there's, um, stuff. there's also like things that I'd like to not mess with would be like the number of battles that you experience on the strategy map. You know, like battles per year. I don't think should go up. Um, yeah, there are th some things that I just think we shouldn't mess with, actually. Um, but there are plenty of things. There are uh, there are things on the strategy side that I think we could mess around with, like the length of research 
yeah. at, at how long it takes to do different things, um, fertility rates, so it's like harder to get, uh, to keep your bloodlines going and stuff. Like, I think that all of these things can be moved up or down for the easy or the hard. Um, and then, oh, we also want, independently of the difficulty setting, we want to have like an Iron Man switch, yes or no. So yeah, yeah. will you, you know, you'll be allowed to save in the normal version and reload and all that stuff, but the Iron Man version will, uh, I, I kind of want to call it Iron Person mode as well. Sure. Iron Human mode. Yeah, um, tough Because that's, you know, cause that's sexist, man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, that will be independent of the difficulty. So you can play on, you can play Iron Man on easy, or you can play, um, uh, you know, play it on very hard, but allow yourself to save and reload and stuff. That's pretty standard. Yep. It's pretty standard. Yeah. Um, and we might like, have like a like a super super hard mode. I don't know if we need it yet. This guy's ass juggernaut bad, mode. Yeah, like some yeah. some super crazy super hard mode. Um, but I don't know if it's really needed. You know, we'll see. And it's like the fewer of them, for sure, given the time frame that we have. The fewer, uh, the fewer difficulties that we have, the better balanced they'll be. So it's always a trade-off. And uh, Death by Sumo asked another related question to that. Fred. That guy's great. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. You're great, Death by Sumo. <laughs> uh, Thanks he, for the support, man. Um, uh, no, I lost it. Dang on. It was. Uh, um, uh, oh, uh, so you know, other strategy games they often have they often have other types of missions versus kill all the enemies. Uh, can you talk about, like, we, we were planning for some of that stuff as well. I mean, nothing firm yet, but, like, we've talked about that a lot. Like, right. can you talk yeah. about that update on that? We, I mean, we've definitely discussed it. We're, um, you know, for, like, the initial release of the game, I don't think that we're going to have anything else. Um, well, we'll have we'll have two other modes. That's, yeah, right? I mean, well, we have... Three, I technically... We have mean. the keep defense mode, mm -hmm. which is, you know, you, you are essentially killing all of the enemies, but it's really important that like they're they're gonna be attacking Boom. Uh, they'll be attacking your regent and partner that are like retired there. Yeah, yeah. So those should feel a lot higher stakes. Yeah, and, and if the regent and partner die, the line in that house has to be replaced or it's dead. The yes. keep doesn't blow up, yes. but yes. The Scholars Guild and the Academy can both be attacked. To so uh, be honest, if you kind of want to get rid of like a pain in the ass family, <laughs> yeah, it's just like you let that guy hang out to yeah, dry. Just, like, yeah, let the cadence build up. Like, I don't know, Frank, I can't help you right now, buddy. I got I got shit going on in the Alpine uh, uh, region. Uh, sorry, I'll get to you later. Right on. Did you put that eagle sound in when the eagle act? Oh, it did. I don't think it went in yet. I don't <laughs> think it went in yet, but we're gonna have one for sure. Good, good. I feel like my current research is not showing up. I, I don't, don't think, really I don't know think why. you activated it. Oh, did I not? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I think you said view, and you're like, Oh, yep. no, no. See, it says health file, two oh. years. Oh, well. Yeah. We can, That's we a can, bug. We can shout at Dan. Yeah, we'll yell at Dan. <laughs> oh, so, I, did, man, I, I feel like I'm having a hard oh, time. Oh, no, Raz Doge Knight. The Raz, Raz Doge Knight. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, so imprisoned. Ouch. <laughs> Oh no! What do you want to do? Imprisoned, yeah. no good. Much prison. Yeah. <laughs> Such wow. <laughs> Sentence long. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to? Uh, why don't we ask the chat what we should do? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? So Raz Doge Knight. God, we should just change that. Whoever's <laughs> yeah. whoever submitted Dota Knight. Dota Knight. Whoa. Maybe what? That's a different thing. Um. <laughs> oh wow. Whatever the the yeah we we should just change that. They wouldn't mind. I bet. Let me just change it, and then we could, whoever can make a, a doge <laughs> out of the, you know, thematically inappropriate, of course, but oh, I man. think that we should have a doge uh, sigil in the game. <laughs> anyway. So majestic. Ooh. Uh, man, I would never piss off our chat members because yeah. there is a unanimous in prison. Oh, wait, one pardon from Death by Sumo, All but right. everyone else says in prison. Yeah. We're doing it. All but, right. But, Peace out, Raz. <laughs> Sorry, Raz. <laughs> All right, so he's going to be in there. All right, everybody, corruption has been eased because everybody's... Ah, excellent. That's good. But then, so, okay, Raz Doge Knight, he'll be in there for 10 years. I, also, I noticed that One we have day. this bug where there's this, <laughs> there's this trailing day on things, and it's probably, you know, this whatever. It's processing time, you know, they got to get them. <laughs> they put them into the system, right, 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 and they got to right, take yeah. all those prints and everything. But I think all of the things that we have, like research and everything, they're just like off by one day. This is one of those classic dumb programming things <laughs> where like, you're just like, oh, oh, less than or equals to, yeah. not just less than. It's the worst. Like, it's one of my least favorite parts about programming. It happens all the time. And I'm sure that Dan 
Dan McGarry is watching this right now and just being like, Dan, <laughs> Dan, Dan just said literally at that moment, ugh. He just said, ugh, right in the chat. That's pretty of course. amazing. That's, that's, that's how it works, man. It's the worst. Sorry, Dan. I have an empty heap there. Yeah, what are you what doing? Am I doing? Yeah. Who do we put in here? Let's see who we've got. Do you have any other doges? <laughs> Yeah, maybe there's, well, let's see. So one thing that I really like to do is like sorting it by house name. And then we can totally find, yeah, okay, so we have a sterile say Dota. Oh, oh, bummer. <laughs> That's awful. So. Maybe when he comes out, he'll be. Uh, but yeah, Raz is, maybe maybe Raz can carry on the, the line yeah, after maybe. he comes out of prison. <laughs> well, yeah, so, so hope he doesn't get shivved in prison. <laughs> <laughs> well, check totally okay, we've got this guy. We've got Adrian Kwan. Wait, really quickly, I want to check my other one. So this guy right here, House Bigum. Or is it Big Ham? Big Ham. I'm going to go with Big Ham. House Big Ham. Brad Big Ham. How you doing? I'm Fred Big Ham. Yep. Hey, uh, by the way, and Brad, uh, wife, speaking Valerie of... Valerie Justice Fire. Sorry. <laughs> Valerie Justice Fire. That's such Fire. a great name. It's awesome, it is right? Oh, my God. Look at this. Like, yeah, look at this, look at this awesome sigil, too. It's like... That oh, is sweet. sweet. And look, I am Valerie kids. Justice Fire. Wow. She's young at heart. She's young at heart. It's awesome. They're gonna have more kids. Look at this. But a slow kids. learner. Doesn't matter when you're a justice fire. Um, okay, so that was a yeah, caber jack, jack house. Jacks that's a caber jack yeah. house. So that's totally fine. So we need we only, okay. We only have the one alchemist. We have to retire <laughs> this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah kind of dude. Kind of fail. This fail is super awesome. <laughs> this is super awesome too. The super genius guys did some different idols for them, like in the thing. yeah. So the hunter has this like sweet like forward pose. In it, and then if I can grab a caber jack, they have like the super relaxed, like yeah. all the way to the back, so, like super awesome. I totally love you it. Tried carrying but yeah, this is actually not a decision, right? We have to retire this guy while he's 48 and hope he yeah, has yeah, kids. like one kid. Yeah, come on. Who's the most fertile person? I cannot tell you how much that compatibility message helps me. Like, it's just a great at a glance, like boom, oh, all sick. Uh, oh, no. oh, wow. <laughs> Heart disease, slow learner, and frail. That's we can't we can't be doing this. <laughs> to the no. scholars. Oh, good. good. <laughs> I don't want to grab the active ones. This this tag is really helpful too because you know that these guys are in your current party that you're going to be. And active is probably not the right um, the right term. You enlisted. Probably need. God, enlisted. It's a very military though. I don't know. Yeah. And but, cadence. But basically, oh. <laughs> that was the worst idea I've ever had. But basically, like, oh, oh no, that one's pretty bad too. Oh wow. Yeah. You gotta. <laughs> Jeez. And then the rest of them are men. So what what do you say? Who is the Well what's what's the what's like what's your at, the one at the top? We didn't look at that one. Long longevity and puny. But that's fine. She's in my active group though. Well, you know, no, you got you got but she's plenty right. of other hot got, messes yeah. that you can die on the right. battlefield. You got some spare old guys in there okay. like <laughs> bear strength. You should be good. <laughs> so we're gonna get our we're gonna get our alchemists. Hey Brad, uh, another question with the names. Um X Gladar, if I'm pronouncing that right, said, "Would you consider letting us name family relics?" And we we talked about this. Is what we thought about this. This is a tough decision, right? Like, yeah. Um, family relics. Wow. Uh, I would need more information on that question. Like, type like, them in, or I think that's what he's implying. Yeah. I, I, we can ask him. But I, think I think that would have been a really cool thing to put into the Bloodline editor. Yeah. Massive Giles too. Yeah. Um, where <laughs> yeah. you could. Oh, one thing that we that we realized for sure was that it would be awesome to to have a bunch of names like family names. So you could, like we let you put in a, a male name and a female name, but like when it rolls like multiple characters or when like they have kids, it would be sweet to like have a little, you know, your own little mini database that you can curate of like all these first names for, for your characters. Yeah. It might be too much to ask from people. It would but be kind of cool, especially if it pulled the, the same name again or if it was like yes. the second. Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, Chad just had a really sweet idea today of having a narcissism trait where oh, this is great. if you're narcissistic, uh, your kids will all have your first name. <laughs> you'll, <laughs> you'll have like the junior and then the third and fourth and fifth and whatever. And they'll just like, yeah, whatever, man. Like, it's, it's gotta be the lesser. The lesser. The lesser, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. always junior. <laughs> uh, we also got this Scholar's Guild going, which is which is rad. And now we've got all these hey, awesome you make, you things. You can make a leech I'm gonna stone. go for the leech stone. I'm gonna do it. Dude, I love that thing. And then let's see if we have any of these. Um, Wonderful characters that we can yeah, get into. There's, there's a couple of good ones. We, yeah, actually, one of these. I feel like one of these Quan guys was pretty Dude, bad. People are liking no. the idea of a narcissism trait. I yeah, think. I think it's pretty much. I think just, it's awesome. Yeah, like, it's got to go in there. We're looking for more things that are like simple but really add a lot of flavor. Oh, infertile. Um, was this an infertile? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
pretty smart. Wow. You know, it's like her brother's in jail. Yeah. You know, it's like her brother's in jail. We're just gonna just gonna throw. Yeah. Okay. Well, he'll get out soon, right? Yeah. A couple years. Oh, but there's an attack. See, so this is awesome. Like, I hope that this is the kind of thing that happens where, you know, you make a really hard decision and then you're waiting for the hero to come back and then like, oh, they're not. Now we weren't necessarily using that that guy, but um, okay, we need an alchemist, but we don't have any. Negatory. So maybe another. And that's what, that's what we just we just made some. We just this retired some alchemists. Hopefully, make us some more. This right. This guy's high level, but he's asthmatic. Well, you know. Oh, do you have any? You should pull in someone from a house that's established. And can I just right, say that right. an asthmatic hunter is the biggest kick in the pants that maybe this game delivers to you? <laughs> like, that's like my scout, man. Asthmatic Caberjack is actually yeah. the worst. I think that um, that's really because I feel like the hunter. You need him to scout or her to scout out. You know. Okay, so we've got the Arnold Omans and the Big Hams. <laughs> it's, big um, it's Big It's Big Please, it's big um. Can, can relics pass between the mother's side of the family? Right now, they cannot. They cannot, and maybe they should. Um, so we have some more big ham, big ham caber jacks. Oh, and these guys have come of age. They're like 17. Yeah, these yeah. are yeah, looking get, at some get, second get them in there. Second. Oh, man, bountiful bear strength and hardy. Oh, yeah. put that guy in. Tony yeah. Big man. Ham, look at this guy. All right, Tony Big Ham. Age 15 oh, wow. and bald. Yeah, yeah that guy's, that guy's a Stewart hard motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and then check this out. This is like... Kevin Bigham, this is like his uh, uncle. <laughs> yeah, uncle, uncle Bigham. Yeah, uncle Bigham. <laughs> Not to be confused with Aunt Big Gams. Uh, it's totally different. <laughs> just thighs are just woof, huge. Oh, and I just realized, is there anything else art-wise that has gone in the game, Jeff? Because I want to sort of I mean, there, well, the, the hunter had, had an over overhaul. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Like, completely I don't know if we redid can really all of their see armor. It, but yeah, the armor has been totally redone. You can see these sweet new shin guards and like the chest pieces redone. They were they were looking really. Um, they were looking a little rough. Old school. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it was actually for those um, those Game Informer screenshots. We had um, uh, really done up the Alchemist and the Caberjack. Those were the two that we like showed in those screenshots and stuff. And we, we kind of forgot that we hadn't done like, a full <laughs> pass on. Uh, yeah, we were the like, other, man, the hunter's the looking really care. bad. Yeah. Oh, that's like, because we never did anything. Looking pretty rough. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why. Oh. Get the follow-up shot now, please. Oh, yes. I haven't okay. seen that animation yet. That's kind of how yeah, I would do some, a follow-up shot. There's some the sequencing on the uh, the bow part of it, but uh, yeah, there's still a couple of bugs there. But, uh, but but yeah, we have that. We have that. We'll see if we can show that one off again. Um, <laughs> when we uh, when we sent that one over to Super Genius, they um, they gave us back this. You know, it, it was it was a nice animation, but it was just like. It was not in the spirit of the character, and then I sent them the follow -up back. follow-up animation? Yeah, the follow-up yeah. animation. Then I sent them back an image of uh, Rambo from... <laughs> and I was like, the follow-up shot should look like this, where he's holding, like, and the RPG. He's got an RPG slung. down, like, at his hip, and it's just super, super hilarious. Yeah, we're like, no, 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 like this, like this. Yeah, see, so this is actually really good. Like, there's no place where I can move this hunter where I could actually get a shot on this dude. Uh, that makes me sad. Brad, so, quick yes. interjection. Dad update for you. Uh, dad update. Okay. Mr. Muir says, just logged in, and man, the game looks great. Dad. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. pretty cool. I'm gonna. What if I move this guy here and have him hide up? Is, is he gonna get revealed though? Uh, it depends on how come, ape shit that one goes. This dude's gonna come running by him and reveal yeah. him. Oh, and then he's gonna. Uh, well, thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Awesome. Pretty cool. Oh, this is a this was a bummer. <laughs> oh man, that was that's a, your ass, Mr. Postman. That was a bad. That was not a good move. <laughs> Brad, would you say sometimes your game defeats you? Yes. <laughs> it's hard. It's gotten it's gotten um, a lot more difficult. I think. Like we've uh, actually we'll be talking to Philip here in a minute. I think. Oh, that's actually, Der sweet. Derek's uh, available to be on deck. He is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, hey, yeah, that would be that would be awesome. Let's get let's get Derek up on here. Jeff, thanks for joining us. Yeah, on this thing. As always, oh. your solace. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go do work. Okay. Okay, hey, we're gonna bring on concept artist Derek Brand. The man, the plan, no, the mission. No stranger to teams or streams. 
Human streaming. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Derek. <laughs> That's kind of weird to say. Human and streaming. <laughs> team, yeah. team and streaming. Team and streaming. Okay. Derek hydrates regularly. Hey. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's important. Oh, this is weird. Hey, guys. Whoa. So, Derek, <sighs> while we're watching Brad's own game beat him, <laughs> what would you say uh, is some of your uh, more favorite art editions since the last uh, last stream, or just really the last couple months? Oh man, yeah, all the is... all the all the banners. I mean, that's, yeah, that's cheating because I didn't I didn't do them. But yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but those you know are the, the best. icons for them, right? So it's yeah. like getting able to <laughs> yeah. being able to see like yeah, it was, it was so amazing to see with the creativity. Uh, really there's some cool. insane things that I never. Never would have thought of. Yeah. It's awesome. Would you feel that really all the banners are your banners? <laughs> They're all a little bit mine. <laughs> That's right. Now you're too humble for that. This That's cool. Just, this guy's just constantly in the acid. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> and this. Oh, like a ball. Right. Oh man, I love their walk. Their new walk oh, looks so good. Creepy? And it's with creepy. the sound effects added, it sounds so good. Yeah, it's and really good. One thing Brad and I talked about that's awesome is their, the explosion sound effect, which you really don't get a good sense of maybe over the team stream, but man, when people are starting to play this game with headphones on, that is an awesome yeah, sound effect. I mean, all of the, um, like we have a first pass on all of the enemy sound effects in the game, and it's like, it really adds a lot. It really adds a lot to it. There are a lot of these. Big shout out to Brian these, Min and the audio guys for that. A lot that's of these really bombers cool. hanging around. He can get this, right? He's going to get it. Do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I need to send in my cable jack here just to get wrecked. <laughs> Soon we'll have a... Uh, uh, it's cool. You're fine. You're yeah, fine. Hey, okay. You're oh, fine. No. You can take it. <laughs> take it. All right. Oh, we're good. Soon we'll have uh, maybe Philip visit us, and he, you, can, you can be like, hey, man, what's up with your level layouts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. He's, um, he's actually never been on the, on the show before. Oh, be sweet. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, but Derek, so we've also been working on some promotional stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, getting ready for PAX Prime. That'll be awesome. yeah. pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, yeah, do, do, I, I'm trying to think of other things that you have been working on lately. Uh, oh, we're working on, you know, people were just talking about this on the forums. It was so weird that we were doing it. Um, the core, we're calling it the core bloodline selection, like, like oh, at yeah. the very beginning of the game. Like, you'll be able to select a bloodline out of the 2,000 whatever that are in the game. And so if you backed it, you'll be able to be like, oh, I want to, like, see my work and, like, play with my character that I, like, I put in the game. You'll be able to, like, peruse through it and search it and whatever. Yeah, and it's, cool. like, a lot more complicated than we thought it was. Yeah, there's be. a lot of little it's, buttons in there. There's that, so many of them. Yeah. And it's, yeah. like, like, we want it to um, be easy for Chad to code and be not, like, annoying to use. And, like, there's just a lot of, like, <laughs> I don't know. There's just a bunch of... Um, requirements on it. I don't know the best way to get to this dude. Yeah, we learned a lot from our little research session this morning. Yeah, that's we right. Were. We were looking at um, <laughs> yeah. we were looking at Hearthstone, the way that Hearthstone's um, kind of like library collection management is, because yeah. I feel like that's like super, super usable and very cool. And we we're also looking at just like, you know, search <laughs> results from like um, Amazon. Is what <laughs> Amazon we looked at? Yeah. Like how does Amazon, Amazon handle like having multiple pages and like having a forward and a next button and all those things. Um, and you've also been working on um, we talk all about the icons. Them? Oh, uh, yeah, I think we can. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, is that top secret? I don't know. I, 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 we're not going to show it. Super top not going to show it. People are asking about it. how we're going to do it, though. But yeah, yeah, we're going to have an, a brand new shirt that's available at PAX Prime that we're going to be selling in the booth. Um, and that will be pretty sweet. Hey, I found the last group of beards. Nice. Um, but yeah, it should be super cool. And that was, um, we're working with Fan, Fan Gamer. They do a lot of our like fulfillment of yeah. merch. And so, yeah, we've been working with them. And like we sort of gave them a design. And they were like, hey, what if it's more like this? And we're like, cool, but. Uh -huh. More like this, and then they were like, "Yes!" And so, like, I think we have a really cool design um, that will be in the booth if you want to like come by, get a nice child yeah. shirt. And I think per usual, we'll sell them online afterwards. I think I'm not yeah. sure, but yeah. Oh, and Derek, also to fill you in, a lot of guys in the chat have been uh, they've been asking for a new cursor. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. I forgot that we we're gonna we're we're definitely. I'm, I'm still rendering the gauntlet. I'm st uh, it's taken a while to paint it, but. DF Dan in the chat says, every other week or so, someone is reminded that the cursor sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Go yeah, for the I'm eyes. On, I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, I think that guy leveled up as well. Okay, sweet. That was, um, that was one of John's big things. He really wanted to have allow you to like level up your guys on the battlefield. Um, and I think that's like 
it's been, I was sort of like, oh, it seems like unnecessary, like, I don't know. But uh, I was totally willing to trust him, and it's, it's totally correct. Because sometimes, cool. his, his justification for it is that sometimes a character will be like 78, and it's probably their last tactical battle, no matter what, even if they live, and they like level up early in the battle. You would never get to like I mean, spend that point yeah. and have them use their cool new ability or whatever. They would yeah. just like come back, like you'd finish the battle, level them up, be like, can't wait to use that thing, and then they die, and you'd be like, oh, like it would be super super frustrating. So yeah, um, that's a really good idea. That guy's full of good ideas. Is this guy gonna die? I think I'm gonna heal this guy. Just in case. Just in case. I still love that. Yeah, or like... I, I, I fucking love it. <laughs> Pink. Oh, Pink man, stuff. look at this Pink guy. Just coming out of nowhere. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Uh, I'm going to kill you now. Anthony, this is... Boom! That's a good thing I healed that guy, because he would be at <laughs> yeah. 1 HP. Oh, and this is another thing that... Oh, no, this guy's dead! No! Oh. <laughs> That's the and he lost a level right before And he, he lost a level right before he died. That's like insult to injury. Man. Oh, I'm sure Dan is watching this and is like, okay, I'm going to assume that this is the last guy. It better be the last DF guy. DF Chad said the cursor should be a little bard loot. Oh, a little yeah, bard loot. loot. Absolutely not. It will not be a bard loot. It, and it plays a little tone every time Oh, man. Just <laughs> brave, brave, so brave. <laughs> I think this is a really good place to use this, uh, this prime target. There we go. Ooh, uh, Smile has just had a, a good question. Are there any corrosive grenades based on the explosive enemies? That's kind of cool. That's a good idea. We have, um, we do have yeah. a thrower that's based off the corrosive guy, yeah. but it's like, uh, mm -hmm. that's the chaos thrower. That needs a really good name. That needs a really good name. <laughs> but it's like, uh, <laughs> it actually explodes in a three by three instead of the, so you get, you get nine tiles instead of the five tiles of the plus sign, but it's like, Wildly inaccurate, so it's <laughs> and it does a ton of damage, but it's uh, it's super dangerous to use it. I can't believe I lost a character we, on this level. We have an acid grenade, don't we? Or did we we do. We do. We put um we put acid into the oh. um uh into the tree for the alchemist. So it puts acid right. on his claw attack and on um probably the uh, character that died. Um, oh no, no, that was a hunter. Um, but yeah, so it'll put it'll put like a um, a dot on your on your grenades and a dot on your melee attack, and we'll see. We're still all oh, Marsha Wenzel. Marsha, Marsha, so Marsha. Oh, actually, she was fifty three. <laughs> still Nathan young. Leveled still up. young okay. to go. We'll get. And Tony Bigham, <laughs> leveling up in his first battle out of the Big gate. Big Tone. I like it. I like it. Big Ham. Okay, we're gonna get Raz out of the. Uh, Got, we got another year and a half before he's uh, <laughs> out of jail. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Dude, they got a lot of training in, in, in crazy <laughs> prison guard fights. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so so um, this go. text is uh, absolutely <laughs> placeholder. But yeah, I love the, um, we're going to go check it Big out. Big shout out to the members in the chat, to the guys in chat for making Raz Doe tonight. Raz Doe tonight. The toughest dude in the yard. So here he is. Age 52, he's been to the school of hard knocks now. <laughs> <laughs> so this, um, yeah, like I'm super stoked about these things. Like, like uh, all of those random events have a chance to like, either like give your heroes buffs or debuffs that they'll carry with them for the rest of their lives. And then also uh, potentially pass down to their kids. So like Raz, like if we, if we uh, retire this guy, that school of hard knocks is like, we call it a personality trait under the hood. And like he might pass that down to his kids, <laughs> and I, I don't. So one thing we have to put the uh, the actual like a pop up or something yeah, that yeah, tells you what it in. does. I think this yeah. one just like jacks up his strength. Like um, he should have a little teardrop <laughs> tattoo now. That would be sweet. <laughs> that would be amazing. We had this. That would be so so, so good, man. Um, yeah, um, hilarious. That is awesome. Why is this guy? Okay. Yeah, but that's cool. We'll be sure to. We're gonna be taking him. We're gonna be taking him out next time. We've got this leech stone coming up. Oh, Daniel Regent of Huntsville has died. So, did they have any kids? They had no kids. 
that was our alchemist oh. that we really wanted to have children, and he didn't. Hey, Brad, actually, oh, no. you know, this kind of a, a question. I, I've Anthony, oh, please, okay. a moment. Oh, for Huntsville? For Daniel, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Daniel. Yep. <laughs> right on. No, respect. I'll pour, we'll pour something out for him we tonight. Do, we do, we do. And also, it really sucks that, yeah, no, um, no heirs. So to that point, sometimes you'll put, you know, compatible, uh, seemingly compatible regent and, and partner in a, in, a, um, in a keep, and they just won't generate kids, you know? Um, what, what's the deal there? Like, man and wife, you know, man and it's woman, they're, they're coin compatible. Flips. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just... <laughs> That's it, man. Like, there's no other. Uh... Oh, and quick side note: Look, this is where the uh, the the colors of the region are coming into play. Oh here. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff was talking about out. this. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That hopefully uh -oh. this is fine. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> no, that is best. that is game development, ladies, <laughs> and, gentlemen, right there. ladies and gentlemen. So oh, no. game development before your very hopefully eyes. I can zoom in on <laughs> this love, with the debug. Look camera. at the peace that symbol he's doing. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. Oh. <laughs> Switch. Oh, wait. Switch. Oh, no. Okay. No, no, she's cool. It's cool. Everything's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, ow, 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 ow. This is, um, this is my favorite part of game development. And it's back. When, and we're back. <laughs> uh, I just totally took Dude. a screenshot of this as well, which is great. He's like, look, I'm trying to get you. <laughs> I'm glad that did not crash the game, but yeah, that's, I mean, I think I saw, there was just a typo in that thing. I saw like an extra K in there or something. Um, oh, this is the <laughs> best. So female the hunters on the throne. Maybe he's caught like, in the time cadence. That's, totally that's what this is. Totally fine. Yeah. Anyway, guys. Low fertility thing. anyway. Oh. We need to, so I think we're going to take one of the big ham. Well, no, see, we don't want to retire one of the big ham guys. I'm going to back out of this right now because this is a big ham house over here. Because that keep is haunted. Big <laughs> ham house. Well, I mean, we don't want to double up, right? We don't want to double up on them. So we're going to try to get somebody else. And if we sort it by fertility, I think they're the only youngsters that we have. So this hmm. is something that we're trying to solve. I don't know the answer to this. Hmm. Um, I don't know the answer to this yet. Is that uh, Dan tried to solve it by uh, compressing the ages really low of all the characters that you get at the very beginning so that you get 15 characters that are all between like 15 I remember and 25. Yeah. The problem with that is that 30 years in, 30, 40 years into the game, they all start dying. Like your yeah. entire initial group all start dying and it feels very weird. You have this huge gap between like the next, you know, it's like whatever. So we're like, okay, like they'll be between 15 and like 45 or something. So I put that in there, but then everybody starts rapidly aging up and when you uh, when you appoint your initial regents, like they just might not be have very high fertilities. They might not actually produce kids, and then you're like, you're just kind of yeah. screwed. Like, yeah. So we have to try to solve this problem somehow because I don't want to double up on a big ham house, big <laughs> ham house. Oh, that's uh, the same thing. It's okay. We can just go through it. <laughs> so I think we're gonna try. I'll see. She's Shout 52. Regrets. And yet still optimistic. And look yeah. at all these low fertilities, yeah. all these yeah. old, all her, these oldsters. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna try. We're gonna try this. Let's see how it goes. Get one of these big hams in there. I say do it. <laughs> the one we're not using. All right. And so John Big Ham married Elise Paddington. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, this. Um, oh, also like heroic manslaughter. What? He killed oh, another man. guy. Oh, <laughs> oh Raz. Jeez. Raz, come on, jeez. <laughs> That's maybe there's a bug and it's actually picking the same guy. We gotta send him back to the school. I, That's the thing. That would be I, he hilarious. didn't learn his lesson. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't learn his lesson. We're putting him in there again. Back to the yard, Raz. Jeez, Raz. Dude, that, hey man, that once you're a typical killer. Raz, you know what I mean? <laughs> yep, just breaking fools. That's you really should not Oh he oh. died in prison! <laughs> It's tragic. <laughs> that's what he gets, though. Yeah, that's, that's what he true. gets for you know being what, so careless. At this point, though, that's the life Raz knew. You know, he was most comfortable in prison. Oh man, look at that, Raz, Raz Dodonight <laughs> has died in prison. His last words were, "Can I have your Jello?" I was really gonna take him on the next in the next battle. Well, no, that's not gonna happen. See, yeah, you can see these skulls popping up. Like, like man. this is definitely like, Dude. like we still have a little bit of that problem where it's like they just kind of start going. <laughs> D all at the DF same Dan time. says, "Oh man, you shouldn't have done that by putting Raz back in prison." I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> That's so Raz for a turret said. So I feel like we need to put somebody in here. <laughs> Recidivism. Patrick Justice Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick 
Oh, this is this is broken over here. This should tell you how long it should, um, how much time you'll save by doing this. Oh, because it's only four days long. Oh yeah, so that's, that's, a, good, that's a good bug though. That is a good yeah little education. It should at least say, it should at least say something, and right now it doesn't say anything. All right, I'm telling. Ch okay. Oh, this one's dim witted. Yo, DF Chad. So dumb. Check out the bug. App. Okay. Is that thing? Oh, and we're also uh, we're also gonna let you uh, zoom in on that timeline. Yeah. So essentially, it will feel like just by hovering over it and then mousing in or out, it will feel like you're separating the events or compressing them together, mm -hmm. um, and then being able to grab it and like swipe it back and forth, like grab the whole thing if you want to go back. Yeah, that'd be super right? awesome. Yeah. Do you have an idea about how that's gonna look? Uh, you're it's gonna you're gonna get a little sweet. hand it's that'll. Sweet. It's gonna look totally sweet. Yeah, it'll be cool. And we have to solve the uh, stacking problem with the events. Yeah. Like yeah, the yeah. ones that happen uh, oh, on the same day. Right. Like usually when you like <clears throat> retire, like when you finish building a keep, you get an event for that. Then you retire people usually on that same day, and then you have two yeah. events that are like stacked up, and we need to have some way of, of, of doing that. Yeah. Hey Brad, uh, Solar Blitz asks, can scholars be pulled out and put into the ranks again? They cannot. It's a one-way trip, so Peace out. you gotta be you gotta be sure, you know. Let's see who we have left. Oh, oh looking grim, slim, dude. Yeah, I What's totally up? retired too many. Going on here? I retired too many people. I think I'm putting the big hams in though. Yeah. They're Bring it's gonna in. be a mostly big ham crew, and this is this is one part of the game that I think is working really well, um, where like I had mostly hunters and I had one alchemist. And now I'm like kind of have mo mostly caber jacks, and it's mm -hmm. it's just cool that you're like your party's gonna be different in every um, in every fight. Fight spry. How can you be asthmatic and spry? <laughs> you can be asthmatic and spry. I guess this is an old. Oh man, look at this guy's beard. Damn, Patrick Justice Fire. Damn, it's yeah. perfect. This guy. Damn. He's so Damn. good. Damn. I like it. Looks really good with the color scheme. He's still level one. That's always. Yeah, but he looks like I know. he's a level 10 yeah, at heart. He does, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, tell me more about my justice fire. Let's see, do we want to take him or do we want to take. Yeah, we're going to take the hunter. 16 um, hunter. We Be also have. Her, let's see, this guy's level 2. We're going to try this leap stone out. Okay. <laughs> Can I just say, I love that leap stone, it's the best. Yeah, I like. I think it's really good. It's dangerous though. With the Jack Rage, boom, boom, boom. Oh. Um, let's see. Yeah, anything else going on? Would you like? Also, I have um, these blueberries here. Would you like some uh, blueberries? I guess they came so. From the farmers market. I guess so. oxidized. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I've been doing a lot of the skill icons. Got got all the the skill tree icons, but they're not in yet. Well, so we'll show those next time for sure. Yeah. And they'll be all super done, and we can show the process that we go through of like making those and everything. All right, let's see. Why don't we get Philip in here? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. do you think? I'm going to talk with deck. my mouthful. If he doesn't respond to my IM, would you just ping sure. him and tell him to walk yeah, yeah, yeah. out? Sweet. Oh, well, well, thanks for joining us, Derek. Thanks, Derek. The game's yeah, looking, the game's looking beautiful. It is. All right. See you guys. Later, Derek. Do you have any questions from um, from the chat there? All right, let's see what we got in the chat. Yes, sir. This is a really tight really tight quarters here. One thing that is, uh, is kind of a nice question uh, is um, Dr. Stokes asks... Dr. Uh, Stokes! <laughs> when are details of, the, of how hybrid, hybrid classes work are going to be um, going to come out? Oh, more? I just put some uh, I just put some ideas um, about that onto the forum. So you could totally check that out. Um, or you could just listen to me talk about it right now. Um, yeah, so the... The way that we're going to do it, we've, Jeff has actually already done the art for, uh, for the characters. So if we look at this caber jack right here, so there's like this open shoulder right here. All yeah. of the characters, their left shoulder, and I don't have an alchemist, sorry about that, but their left shoulder is open. Um, and we have shoulder pads for the three, the three main classes, mm -hmm. or for the three classes. So like a, a pure caber jack will have a, um, like a sort of like studded metallic shoulder pad, and you'll be like, okay, cool. But then uh, Caber Jack Hunter will have like a feathery looking shoulder pad over there to signify that like they're a hybrid it's class. Be so sweet. And then the Caber Jack Alchemist will have one that has like bottles on it, like the, the Alchemist Bandolier. Um, and then you'll know that, oh, that's like a Caber Jack Alchemist. Um, 
so the way it's going to work is that the regent will define your primary class and then the um, partner will define your secondary class. So if you marry a caber jack to a hunter, you'll get a primary caber jack secondary hunter which will look mostly like a caber jack, wear caber jack armor, use a caber, have that but then and then have that shoulder pad to signify that, but then their skill tree will be filled up. So like if we look at the caber jack skill tree real quick, like so looking at this um, we, you know, we haven't really done these yet, but uh, one idea is that we take like the more defensive thing probably, mm -hmm. like this, take out this rebound skill and put in um, like the hunter's hearing ability. And then it's like, oh, like, so you could have them be more like a camera jack or more like a hunter. Um, you know, they're like, that's up to you. And then we'll also replace some skills with um, like with unique ones if we have time. Some of those are like slam dunks. Right. Like for sure, like a caber jack alchemist will have like a um, exploding caber. That's a hit, must. Right? You like have it's to just it's just super. Like some of them design themselves. Yeah, oh, yeah. similarly, a hunter caber jack. So fighting with a, with a crossbow will have like a knockback arrow that they can shoot, and that like you know that just feels like very. Um, Could be a caber. Yeah, arrow. it's just like a slam dunk caber arrow. Caber arrow. <laughs> Like, some of those things are just, like, super, super easy, and they define themselves. Other ones, like, Caberjack Hunter, like, I don't know, maybe we'd give him the stealth skill. Yeah. Maybe, you know, it's like some of them don't fit. Like, I don't, there were some ideas about him, like, throwing his caber, and I don't, you know. But what On top of just being, like, difficult to code and sort of having a lot of edge cases and whatever, like, what if you throw it, like, then do you have to punch a guy? Yeah. Or does it, like, boomerang back to you? Or, like, I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah it's just, it's just not And do we, not we talked about, like, I mean, just the designs for the primary classes, the edge cases for that, the balancing act for that, like before you, heck, before you even get to the iteration part of just the design up front, that's a lot of work, a lot of thought goes into that, you know, that you guys put into that. So then to add on hybrids, how that, I mean, that's kind of like why you were doing that, like, you know, a little bit later on in development maybe, you know, like. Yeah, and we really wanted brief. to make sure that the, um, the core classes were like really good before yeah. we decided to like attempt, um, attempt doing the, the hybrids. And what a perfect segue for design intern Philip trying to come yeah. by and say hi. That's awesome. P. Diddy, how are you? Pretty good. Welcome aboard, man. He, nobody, you have never called, you have literally never called him P. Diddy, ever. <laughs> it's kind of our, our besties' Is friend's that true? name, right? Sure. I'm A-Train, he's P. Diddy. I've been loving those, uh, <laughs> all of the Coke cans. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have, like, words on the side of them. I don't, it seems like a hilarious promotion that you have like BFF and like, but I don't, I don't There's, know. There's, uh, yeah, buddy or. I, have you seen Intern on one that we, I, if yet. I see one with Intern on it, it's for you. So Philip, welcome, welcome to the show. Like this is, obviously you've never been on this before. Yeah, this is your first time on this. It's so very you, different from you've been, being here versus watching streaming. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, is it, um. I mean, you're just talking about because it's like such a professional show, right? Yeah, and like, totally. you know, And then you see behind the scenes, and you're like, oh my god, like I can't believe how professional it looks. The only professionals in this room it's are even, the guys behind the camera. It's even more professional when you actually come on the show. Like, oh, yeah. my god, yeah, yeah, incredible. Um, but yeah, so you've been at Double Fine for six weeks ish. Yeah, around. Like, I think it's more like five weeks. Five weeks. Okay, like kind of. how it feels like forever. Um, yeah. How are you enjoying your stay here? I love at it. Double Fine. Um, yeah. They've been treating me pretty well, <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't complain about anything. It's pretty good. Okay, Did you say like the production staff is pretty much your favorite staff so far? Of course. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That just makes sense. Yeah. We're, we're chosen people. We're chosen, you know? <laughs> well, that's cool. Um, yeah, so, so Philip, we've, the first thing that, uh, that we kind of had you working on uh, was doing all of the layouts for the enemies. Yep. So with this, it was like a lot of like, um, you know, like our maps are not random, but we want it to feel as random as possible. So you were just going through and making um, brand new, sorry, I'm trying to pay attention to the game. I'm really bad at like talking about the game while I try to pay attention where, <laughs> you all, do, yeah, you do get hyper -focus, where, all, the, where all the enemies are because if I, if I screw it up, everybody's going to make fun of me on the chat. I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, so that was like, it's a lot of moving locators around and it's a lot of, I don't know, it's, it's just kind of tedious. It right? was, but it's just like basically making sure that nothing feels too similar with everything else. Um, yeah. But I think uh, it worked out. But you got through it, right? Yeah. You got through it and we have um, 10 layouts per level, mm -hmm. right? Um, and it just draws a random one every time you come in. Um, and then, yeah, like, I, you want to 
talk about that process at all. Yeah, so it's fine, right? I yeah. mean, it's it was definitely like, but I mean, you're also like learning the engine, learning the tools, like getting to know the game a little bit better as well yep. during that time. So um, yeah, I didn't expect the engine to be anything like what it is here, um, only because I've been so used to like Unity. Um, sure, sure. So, so what does that mean? Different. Were you were you expecting it to be better or like, worse? Here's your front end UI. <laughs> it is. So one thing is that it is a very like pr proprietary engine, right? Yeah. It's like it's like Unity is very tools focused and it's very like externally focused, right? They make the tool and the, or they make the engine and the tools are really important. And for us, it's like we have to both build the tools and make the game. So that's tough. Yeah, sometimes our things are not as user friendly <laughs> as you would expect them to be. Yeah. So is that is that kind of what you're talking about? Pretty like, much. Yeah. You can yeah. totally talk shit about the engine. It's fine. Yeah. Because, Pretty like, old. Because it is, I mean, yeah, it's just like we just don't have the time to maintain it because we're actually like making the game part of the game. And Which that's is totally like, understandable. Yeah. yeah, it's just, it sucks that it has to be that way because mm -hmm. it would be, it would be a lot better if we could like spend a lot of time like doing tools development and making sure that it's like super user friendly and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so you're seeing the belly of the beast for sure. Yep. But, um, I know I should have gotten. I should have gotten so close to that guy. What was I okay. doing? That was awful. Oh man. Uh oh. Uh, coming for you. But yeah, these layouts. Basically, I went around in a circle and was like, okay, well, we never started here. Let's place you yep. there. And then once in a while, I'll get a really crazy idea that's just so masochistic that kills you instantly by <laughs> putting you in the group. And this one was actually, like we. So we went through and we reviewed them. Yeah. Them all. And like you had done the first few of them, and they were like really, really brutal. You would They're always really see like brutal. three to four enemies. They'd be like like immediately you constantly. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, we've definitely been been toning it down a yeah. little bit and trying to get it so it's not as brutally difficult. One of my favorites was like we had your party surrounded by all these blockers, and you couldn't see anything, but. And I think that that was, I think that was actually this one, right? Yeah. Where it was like, you're kind of in, you were in this box of these destructible, <laughs> yeah. like, egg things, and you couldn't see anything. And yep. at least now we've got it so that, um, you know, you're, you're a little bit boxed in, you can see, like, one pack of enemies, and, the, you know, and it's not, it's not so bad. Like, I think it's, yeah. I think it's really, it maintained the spirit of the idea without being, like, so, so, so ridiculous. Um, and let's see, what was the next thing that we were having you do? It was the uh, difficulty ramp up, like when you actually experience um, each of the individual enemies. Yeah, because we had it so that like you faced every single enemy as soon as you hit like year 40 or 50, something like that. And that was a little weird, so just spreading them out. Um, so you get the level two difficulty enemies throughout the later uh, game playthrough. Uh, sure, throughout so, the years. so I was busy actually making those level two dudes. Yeah. And you were going through and, and kind of making the chart for like when you would experience um, a specific character. Why did I do that? I'm just doing. I'm just <laughs> making the worst moves here. Um, I, I keep forgetting that we've got that in there where the um, the time mage. Oh, I think we're gonna call those lapses. What do you think about a lapse? I like that. A lapse. It goes to the whole cadence thing. Yeah, it's you like know? a memory lapse. Um, that's great when I explain it, right? When I just like fully explain it to you. That really that makes it. That's sure. good. Because good names <laughs> always need to be explained to the fullest totally. extent. Um, you should totally stun him. Oh, this oh. guy's already stunned. Oh, okay. I came in here, and hopefully I will just finish him. All right, good. Um, oh, I totally lost my... Oh, okay, so, so you were making the, the chart of like when the enemies would come in, yeah. and then when the level two, we have a stronger version, we have a stronger version of each of the enemies. Hopefully we'll be able to do visuals for them, too, so that they have, like... Like you know, they just look a lot scarier, and you're mm -hmm. like, oh shit! Like mm -hmm. here's the the level two laps like comes in, and we're like, oh yeah. Even every, that's it. making everything look like a lot more red, I guess, because everything is blue now, especially like the time mage, the swappers, mm -hmm. the spores. They have like a blue palette to them, but then like changing it to red just signifies that it's like, yeah. oh my yeah, god, yeah, they're yeah. Like, me. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm sure. Uh, but that... to be clear, I'm not even concerned. All right, <laughs> I will rock those guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, like that'll be awesome to have uh, Derek and Jeff take a stab at, um, at you know what what they can look like, what they should look like. Yep. Um, <laughs> Gamer then, Leon says tempo lapse. Tempo, tempo lapse. lapse. That could be their name. Tempo lapse. Tem what is tempo lapse? What does that mean? Instead of your the one idea, the name you had. Oh, instead of my idea, instead of my oh, awesome I'm idea. I'm just saying, tempo lapse, kind of good, kind of bad, kind of good. <laughs> 
Okay, I think I can hide over here. This is good, right? Yeah, that's good. Do you All feel right. a weird presence behind you sometimes? Like someone's creeping on? Who just who just came creeping in? I don't know. Who is it? I just feel the hairs on the back of my neck oh, standing out. It's usually yeah, Brad, I, but yeah, usually Brad's the yeah. one who's creeping us out. Like, <laughs> I think it's something. It usually is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he just appears like, hey man, like ah, hey Brad. Um, you guys, seriously, what's going on? I don't know. I okay. Mean, like, <laughs> oh, oh, hey, look, everybody. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no hey, pressure. Do you want? do you want to come hang out with us? I'm just watching the scene. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm crashing it. You, <laughs> yeah, you are crashing it. We're testing your, um, I, well, I heard you on the stream talk about memory lapses. Yeah. And I thought I could ask nice. Yeah, what? Back, because I'm so old. <laughs> and I forget people. Do, do you? Can you show me how you might dispose? It's so creepy. Not at all. Can you see it? I, I'm trying to like play the game. I'm really bad at playing the game at the same time that I'm stream talking about the game. No one's good at that. I Did guess you you're right. It's, it's, it's stream-based. Yeah. All the E3 streams are just it's, like that. So, it's, I don't know why they make anyone do that. Like I feel like there should be somebody else playing the game, and then I should talk about it, or I should just play it and just not talk about it. Tim, do you want to talk about it? I'll play it. You talk about it. I do anything to avoid playing it. They're bad things. Yeah, that's not helping. <laughs> that's not really helping. Let me tell you about this game. It has memory lapses in it. It's all about you got it. Time. It's all about Brad. Wow, that's a new. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's Cambridge X, man. This he's gonna miss, right? Oh, totally. Oh, that was. I didn't actually think he was gonna miss. I should just I mean, check out uh, Yeah. Where can I see his work in game? Yeah, I, you're experiencing right it right now. Yeah. So he actually created this layout. For all of the, um, uh, for where the enemies spawn and stuff, and it's actually, it's really good. Yeah, just making sure that each time you play through the game, it feels different, um, which was the biggest concern. Like, because all of you guys were basically like memorizing where the enemies would spawn and yeah, where to totally. go perfectly. There were, and like Dan and Chad had been playing it a lot, and they like, like I would watch them play, and they were just doing like blind grenade throws <laughs> over. You know, they would yeah. just be like. Yeah, I'm just gonna chuck one over here. Just like, yep, up, oh, killed that guy. Like, you know, they just really got to know like each of the each of the layouts. So, so you got set places where the enemies spawn, but it's randomized too. Yeah. Pretty so much. right. So it'll pick from one of uh, ten layouts that like Philip has. I would say they're artisanal. They're artisanally handcrafted uh, yeah, level uh, curated like, if you character will. layouts. <laughs> um, and then uh, and then based on the difficulty. So that was the other thing we were talking about, like the difficulty ramp for when the enemies will come in. Uh, we have all of these sets, so say it's like you're between year like 200 and 220 or 250, uh, there'll be, what is it, it's about, it's about eight different sets of enemies, yeah. um, it'll grab one of those, and then for each of the spawners on the map, it'll grab one of the kind of like, what do we call them, spawn groups, spawn Sam layouts, whatever, yeah. it'll grab that and then sprinkle those guys around that locator. And then I'll do that. And there's uh, five kind of sets of enemies like throughout the level that you have to find and kill. Yeah. You always know when Philip sprinkled some of his magic <laughs> yeah, on you fire the game, you're yeah. like, why are there eight dudes surrounding me? I just spawned the magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of awesome. And it was... Um, <laughs> so that's the special sets, like seasonings. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Just put special spice all over the game. That's right. Punishment. I've also heard so many times that basically like people keep playing it and they go like oh my god there are 10 people right in front of me how am I going to win but then they do win and they go like that felt amazing yeah and they're feeling good about it like I do think that we have the difficulty like right in that ballpark where yeah. it's you're kind of like riding the knife edge and if you make a mistake like you can get oh, really punished for it, which is good <laughs> and like I think that this is again we talked about this a little bit about how this is sort of like the normal difficulty like we want it to be very difficult and if you play it on normal the first time not really expecting you to finish it. Like, mm -hmm. you're probably not gonna finish it. You're gonna have to restart. Um, but, like, you can totally, like, I wanna have uh, a lower difficulty that you can play on, and so it'll, it might be easier for you to, like, learn the game. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of trial and error. We've been having um, some backers come in and play the game, like the, the guys that backed at a higher level. Like, we've been having them come in. It's been really cool. It's been really good for notes, yeah. And they've, they've all been okay with, like, starting the game over. It's actually really good for my like sanity level because like like some of our games like like you don't want to start Psychonauts over. You don't want to play half of Psychonauts and then like 
die and be like, well, I guess I have Why to Why do we put some crash bugs in it if we didn't want that? That, that was obviously <laughs> optimized. <laughs> yeah, that's what the cobweb duster was all about. Go yeah, back. Right. Yeah, if you, you lost your thing, cobweb duster. Oh, you just got to You get to play the it. game again. Yeah, you get to start from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. It's a privilege. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's why you You're can't welcome. get the fry costume. You just got double the gameplay time. <laughs> oh, man, that was... Oh. People think they're accidents. People about. think they're accidents, but they're we gifts. Just, we do it on purpose. They're gifts. We do, we do it all So planned. with this game, we're, we're doing it to the max, I would say. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but several the of the backers... meant have, to be played it's meant many, to be, many it's times. Me, you're, you're meant to, like, start over and see if you can do it. Um, we're also talking about other ways that we can make it more randomized. Like, I really like the idea of randomizing the tech tree a little bit oh, so that yeah. um, the number of kills that you need in order to, like, unlock a piece of tech or the number of years it's going to take to research a piece of tech would be different each time you play the game. So um, you might, like, try out something different. Like, I feel like people they just get... Mario Kart. They do that in Mario Kart? <laughs> you know like, when you're playing a game, that's the only thing you reference? You know, this is a lot like Mario Kart, I noticed. <laughs> but no, if someone comes Absolutely. over to your house, and they're like, wait, what's that car you have? I didn't get that, but I finished the game. Or, like, I got really far in the oh, game. They give you the cars in it. different orders. So you can actually compare with your friends, like, what you unlocked. And it's interesting. That's super awesome. I mean, the other thing is that each difficulty, there's like a new enemy that's introduced, but there's no guarantee that you're actually going to fight them. So that was super violent. In that sense, that your research is pretty much randomized too from that. Right. You're not going to always get what you need. Yeah, and that that part is um, that's just a lesson about life. Yeah. That part is pretty experimental, actually. <laughs> like, I don't know how it's actually going to end up. Um, where, like, if it feels okay, we're basically like tying your research to the randomness of which enemies show up in mm. which fight. Um, so I think we're just gonna have to play the game a lot, oh, yeah. and hopefully it uh, it all works out. Like, like eventually you get them all just by playing through enough of the years, but we don't know if you actually need that research like right then and there right. versus like right. maybe 50 years later. It, it should be really interesting to see how it shakes out and yeah. see if it like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, just see if like what we've done Makes sense and it and it works in the long run. If you're okay, able to beat the this level guy? while talking, does that mean it's too easy? I think so. Uh, you shouldn't be able to play the game and talk. <laughs> oh man, don't ask Philip that question. It's it's go time. Uh, I was like, all right, He's now it must be harder. You, Brad. He's uh, you, able to play harder games than you. How would you how would you pronounce? <laughs> Probably better this? at Mega Man than you are. I, Oh, oh wait, no, that's what he doesn't even like, Mega Man, what's oh, that? My want, dad plays yeah. one. Oh my god. <laughs> Philip, so one of the reasons why we we hired Philip is that he's well versed in all sorts of video games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like how did how did specifically your What's like the oldest video game that you played? Oh man. Ooh. Mario Duck Hunt, one of them. All right, okay. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Also acceptable Space War. I didn't Have you played that. Space War? <laughs> no. You should play Space War. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> Have you played Space War? I played the one it's that like the I always forget the name game. of, but it's like the first video game where you your two spaceships That's going Space up. That's Space War. You play it. But then not not fighting each other. They're just trying to get to the top of the screen, and, the, and a field of stars is going by. People always call it it's like I race of space or space race. I, I don't know if I played that. I have to ask the internet because the, time the Space I do War is like yeah. the versus thing where yeah. it doesn't have a joystick; it only has buttons, and it's sort of like a little arena-based game where you're like yeah. fighting. And what is It's awesome. Yeah, interesting. Is one of the Enterprise? Is that the one that has like the little, little enterprise -y looking shit? I think so, yeah. <laughs> no one I'm sure everybody in the chat there. is like raging right now. They're just yeah. like, oh my god, <laughs> no. you idiots! Yeah, no, you they're idiots! Too, they're too young, they don't know space. I was gonna say, they're all space. like, these are the same people who are like, Sega made hardware ones? Like, I, you know. <laughs> 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 like, what? Well, yeah. That's, did you just. Did you just smack around all of our backers and Wait, all of our no. viewers? You're just like, you you're just like Legos yeah, are harder. These yeah, guys the clearly don't know there. anything. Yeah. 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 They're young and spry. It's yeah. a positive thing. Okay. okay. That's goodness. All right. <laughs> so he's uh, Philip's in charge of making everything harder. Is that what yes, saying? actually, yeah. <laughs> I think Philip shares my love of Dark Souls like, and like being, our our being dick to the player. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we're gonna have an easy mode. We're gonna have an yeah. easy mode, and you'll be able to play through it. It'll be sweet. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. And then we'll have a really, really hard mode. We'll call it that will be CEO mode. almost, easy almost mode. impossible. Also, this, this is. I hope that Dan's oh still gosh. watching. He is. Yeah. Because this is a sweet bug right here. Point. Where this one's yeah. gonna take 143.625 days to complete. <laughs> Dan's very accurate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, awkward. that's the thing about him. He really likes. Oh, man, to he really second. loves. I haven't seen it since that timeline. Accuracy. That crazy ruler of epic ruler. Miss. Yeah. yeah, that that is the immortal ruler. That's our joke. You like it? Immortal ruler. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I get that. Oh, no. Good. Oh, no. So I get to play this Friday. Uh, yeah. Second? If you want to. 
Oh man, this guy Thank died you. too. Yeah. yeah. Without kids. He should be dead in the chair. Oh, oh no. Yeah, he should be slumped over. <laughs> Rats. He's, I'm down to these. Crows pecking at his how eyes. Would, how would you pronounce this, Mr. Schaefer? This, because this is a, this is a Can't character. Bingham. Bingham. Oh wait, there's no end. Or do you think there's it's no end. yeah? Is it Bigham? Bigham. 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 Like Bigham. Bigham. All right. Bigham. Okay. It's great that he's got one of those double-edged markers, like a giant marker. That's his caper. Oh, it's a caper. That's his big caper. It looks like one of those things the artists use with the big caps on the end of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's just gonna go like vandalize a Muni bus with it. <laughs> that's a San Francisco a joke, I guess. Yeah, exactly. It's Probably right. that's the Giants have, win the series. Yeah. Doesn't have a lot of <laughs> regional appeal. That joke. <laughs> it's a, yeah. Hmm. We're big on. So I don't know what to do if I make big another hams. big ham house. Look at this old hunter. Oh, look at that cool. guy. He is Nathan Kwan. The lighting on his face. Well, how many keeps do you have right now? I only have, this is my second one. I, oh. I've put two people in here that failed to thrive. Oh. Well. They produced no babies. And so failed now, to launch. so there's, it's really only the, the big hams that have, uh, that have produced heirs. <laughs> and they're like the only children that I have. And they're kind of grown up now, but everybody else is about to die. Like this guy, this guy's 67. <laughs> like uh, Justine yeah. Reckward. Oh, this oh. is this is a bug. This Could is that be awesome? <laughs> <laughs> it's so that good. Happen when anybody dies, they just <laughs> it's like the chair's eating them. It's got like a little mouth. And just, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's that's how the keeps the massive chalice work. Is that the and throne actually foot being swallows sideways? It's so great. <laughs> if you can just make it twitch a little bit. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Can't we wait till Jeff sees us in the street. I know. The best part about this, honestly, so it's going to happen again surprised. here, is this peace sign that they're throwing out like <laughs> some like, sort of some sort of Tupac thing. That's yeah, exactly. Happening. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> the fingers are twitching. Look, he's like, I'm back. Oh, 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 of course it's going to happen. It's like a house through. of horrors that's broken. Oh. There's something go around the back side of the chair. The head is actually head back there? The head is actually attached, so if you get too close to it, there's some uh. bounty box thing that causes it to not render. Wait, what's behind the chair? What's I oh. think that you'll be able to Yeah, wait. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you whiz. <laughs> Everything you show like this, don't people get disappointed that it won't ship like that? Like, I want to sell that yeah, in my game. I want game. it all broken. I want the head backwards in the Nobody thing wants in it broken, though. Jeff Do just they? said, all caps, everyone look upon my shame. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jeff. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so here's, a, here's an awkward part of Massive Chalice. I didn't check my, like, population between men and women, and I retired this dude that's 19, and now here are the only... Women that I can marry to him, well, or the, the only thing, woman. No, I'm sorry, the only woman. One woman. Justine Record. Wait, she's 65. Why did you retire 19-year-old? Because he's got a high fertility. I was like, oh yeah, I yeah. want to try to. Yeah, yeah. You're making babies. He's look. He's bountiful. He's bountiful. Hmm. The other thing is, you only have bigums left, so I know. He's not going to marry anyone <laughs> at that rate. Do you right. have uh, the dangers of inbreeding? In your um. Game? Yeah, we just strictly you, you disallow it. We just strictly disallow it. You're not allowed. I think it's even like second. I think cousin? it's second cousin is where we draw the line. Dan yeah. did. Dan did the marriage rules. John did a ton of research on it, which was amazing. He did state a bunch of state research. Was on allowed it. state by state. John yeah, was exactly. working on like lawyer grade knowledge it, of like yeah, states' yeah, rights. Yeah. I thought marriage. you would allow it, but then increase like some sort of the mutations that are possible if they're too closely related. Like gills, like underwater yeah. breathing capable or something. Oh man, we're going with five big hams. Five big hams. I think that that's what it's going to be. We've, also, like we've got this one other guy. guy. shorts, four <laughs> hips. We should totally put Patrick Justice Fire in there. It's going to be a five caper jack squad, I guess. Oh, yeah. My, uh... How'd you end up with five at the... Don't you need somebody who can... Yeah, I... If this is because we're talking to you. Mistakes were made. Okay, I'm leaving. I have to say. I'm leaving. Dan mistakes said you were can marry I'm going to go. I'm going to play it on Friday. You can marry cousins? Yeah. You can thanks for stopping by, Tim. Yeah, thanks See for... You. Well, you <laughs> can do it. Hey, also, <laughs> congratulations. Double Fine is 14 years, 14 old? years old today. today. We're Ish. celebrating it today. But yeah, that's it's right. right around your birthday. That's how I know. It's you just the day of birthday, my birthday, right? The same day. Okay, so we're already 14. On accident. Technically. We were 14 last Saturday. 14 last Saturday, Saturday. which is amazing. How are we still around? way of saying my birthday was last Saturday. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I'm still uh, waiting for happy some... Birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. It was important. It's the present, I as didn't you know. Bring it, I didn't want to bring it up, and then because I would have to be like, how old are you? And yeah. the chat would be like, how old are you? And it's like, everybody wants to know. Did you want to know if I can sire and I keep? Yeah, I'm wondering what your fertility score is if I put you into a I'll show you my fertility score. 
All right. Good luck. Bye. Thanks, Tim. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is our squad. I feel pretty... You got this. I, you think it's going to be fine? All right. Fine. I, didn't, I didn't see what year it is, but we've got um, bone shell, uh, bulwarks. Bulwarks. I think we're going to call them bulwarks, these guys. Bulwarks or bul bulwark? Work. With a W. Oh, like bulwark. Yeah. Oh, it's a bulwark about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on. That's Just that rolls with a ton of all super tough. defensive. Okay. We got a lot of stuns here, though, right? Yeah, so this is going to be a stun, stun festival. There. You should probably use him to stun the mage. Because this probably, this right, because nobody else should yeah. be able to reach him. I wonder if anybody else will be able to get to... Okay, he can. Brad, we just missed our opportunity to grief Tim to get his bloodline done. Oh, man. It's all right. Well, we'll get him. Yeah. We'll get him. Yeah. Don't worry about It'll it. It'll be in there for packs. I thought I saw a Schaefer in it. There is a Schaefer in there. Was that I don't, but it was else. old. We, um, uh, we changed... I think it was like the, old, the backer only database. So yeah. those ones that were in there were just like Chad made up a bunch of them uh, and he just grabbed everybody's name from yeah, around here. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I also have not played with the five Caber Deck squad in a while. And I wonder like how I like love if it. it feels overpowered, you know? Um, Brad, this is your chance to Shine with your YOLO style My YOLO play. five caber jack squad. You yeah. can't it's win against six corrosion bombers in one spawn set. So then that's thirty bombers that are just gonna overwhelm you. Uh, well, I d doesn't look like we have. Those Did guys. I ever tell you that playing with Philip is no fun? Because he just like guess what? You can't win this level. Pretty much. <laughs> it should. I do think. I do like how the knockback makes it so that. Like Caber Jacks can actually fight against um, against the bomber guys. Is yeah. if you like wear them down and then you knock them away and then they they blow up, you won't actually take the damage. It's kind of nice that like our melee guy is not boned against the like explodey guy. I think that's that's worked out really well. Um, I take full credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> In Brad's typical hu humble fashion. Hey Brad, uh, a, user Cthun asks, a, uh, will there be bigger versions of standard hey, enemies, Cthun. like mid-bosses? And we um, talked about this earlier, but I guess you repeat what we talked yeah, about earlier. Yeah, we, we did talk about it earlier. Um, no? I mean, we're going to have, what does it mean by bigger? Like mid-bosses, he said, parentheses. Yeah, like, we're really not going to have, like, we, we decided early on that our characters, um, both heroes and enemies, would only take up the 2x2 two two, um, tile. Like, there are other tactical games where right. you'll have characters that are, like, they're, like, long. I guess usually they're not long. Usually they're two by two. They take up two by two, and it's, like, a big, it's, mm -hmm. like, a big dragon. Or, yeah. like, a big troll. It's like With apparently T-Rex arms. Like yeah. A computer dragon. You know? Like this. This is, like, <laughs> yeah. club. You know? Head scratch. This is, like, the... Um, and you'll see those things, like, take up a two by two thing. It's just that... I think that your level design has to really accommodate it. You know, you can't have any like one tile things or else it gets exploited and there's a bunch of problems. So yeah, we just decided to restrict everything to the like two by two tile and just sort of then, you know, just not tell anyone that we did that. But now, but now but we've now, told you know, everyone that we did it. Yeah. So um, yeah, open development of video oh, okay. games a little bit weird. Because, yeah, there's a lot of, like, tricks and smoke and mirrors and all sorts of, like, things. Why did I move that guy there? I have no that idea. That was one of the worst things doing, that I could have done. Brad? I'm so distracted. You're blowing it. Uh, I'll answer one. Lord of Riva asks, uh, does, it, does the Double Fine staff get their, get their houses in the game? And, uh, yeah, uh, they got backer codes, and they're going to get their, their, their names in there. Um, one of the perks of being an employee. So, uh, But their deadline, just like everyone else's, is tonight, midnight, get them in there. Secretly, it came out of our paychecks. Yeah. Yeah, automatic deduction. Yeah. Yeah, keep it on board. <laughs> this guy. He's a slow learner. He's a slow learner. <laughs> yeah, that's why he ran out there. It wasn't me. You also have, the, have that uh, health potion, so. I know, I could heal him. I don't think he's earned it, though. <laughs> I think I really need to. Can I get this? See, I can't knock this guy into that plant, and it makes me yeah. really sad. But I think I can jam him. Over here, this looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, it that's did like actually stun AOE both. AOE damage. Them. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> my AOE damage, right? Okay, so we'll try to kill this guy. Come on, <laughs> Patrick. These guys are really slow. I think these. Are, I think this is my asthma squad. They're like, hold, 
Hold up. The other thing about mini bosses that you guys didn't want was like just becomes a tank and spank where you just surround them with five people. Exactly. Right -clicking, That's right -clicking. and that was something that happened early when we had the uh, the forget melee guy. The yeah. oh, I forget the the name that we're looking for for that. We're looking after that guy. Let's see. No. Twitcher, <laughs> Twitcher, or for which, seizure. Which guy, which guy? Oh, seizure. Yeah, How we want to call them seizures. The Ooh. the big twitchy oh, the swapper yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The swappers. Yep. The seizure. There we go. Patrick just made up for it. For the light. For the light. Yeah. Oh. oh, come on. Okay, well this is, how do you feel about this, Philip? About but This what? is a guaranteed kill for a melee guy. I think that's we, great. We do not do misses. Yeah. With melee attacks. If you have that big of a weapon, like how do you miss something? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, all right, good. Huge. That's a good answer. <laughs> it's like a big um, meat tenderizer. Yeah, <laughs> so man, there are a lot of these dudes. I'm gonna try to. I mean, the other thing is, like, you're getting something out of it, at least. Like, hunters, they're just so safe, so you, it's fine missing, but when you're up that close, you shouldn't miss. Yeah, it's ni it is nice to get something for your, for your trouble. I do think it's interesting, the, the characters that, or the enemies that we have that will actually damage you on a different axis. Yeah. Um, and how it, like, kind of messes with the idea of, like, a tough melee guy. You know, like I've got like all these caber jacks, and it's like they can take a hit, but they're gonna lose a ton of XP from the lapses, yeah. and it just like ugh. And and then the um, the other guys, the wrinklers, will like just age them oh. like crazy. Like yeah, like 50 XP out the door every time they get hit. Come on, like he only took one damage, but that still hurts. It's just it's just a bummer. Do you feel like like right now with these caber jacks, they feel a little overpowered? Um. It's one of your concerns you mentioned at the beginning of the level, I thought. Yeah, I was worried about like having this many stuns like from the knockback attacks, like just stacking the, the shit out of them. But like I think against this many ranged guys, I I don't think it's actually it doesn't feel overpowered to me. Like I think that it's it's tough to get in there and uh, and take care of like this many dudes. Yeah, I think it's I think it's fine. Actually I think it's in a good spot. <laughs> But they do hit really hard, our Cable Jacks. Yeah. Which is good, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I think it's almost like they, they have to, because like, they have to be the brute in the game. Just like from a gamer's perspective, I, I want them to be the hard hitters. Um, you know, and they're slow. And We'll finally heal this guy. I think he earned it with his last. Uh... Watching dies next oh, to you. No. <laughs> oh, you, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no. oh God. That pierced right through. That guy, oh. <laughs> and this is why caber jacks aren't overpowered. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> they crumple like little wimpy. Oh, God. You're really not good at Oh, and look, oh, this shit. guy line up the, oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, so we put a piercing shot on this, uh, uh, on the bulwarks, and they do a really low amount of damage, but um, they can line up shots and pierce through like two or three of your, of your guys and actually do a lot of damage. Um, and it's um, it's working out. It's working out pretty well. Dude, uh, have you have you have uh, you been bestowed a relic yet? No. In this game? Ooh, can't wait. Hopefully you get one. We want to see. see it. So I feel like I should stun. Oh wait, let's see if this guy can. Smiles asks, are there instances of explodey plant chain reactions? Yes. There totally yeah, are. Yeah, there are, and they are fantastic. Um, yeah, there to totally are. I think it's a lot, like, the caber jack is usually how you get there yeah. by knocking the plants around. But, um, oh, this should be cool. Check this out. And there's some occurrences where there's, like, two of them together, and then the keep map, there's actually, like, four that explode together. So that's pretty cool. I love that shell defense. So wait, there was a dude over here. Even though I'm not scared by it. You know, doesn't I don't have nightmares about it. <laughs> there might be a corrosion guy over there. There totally is, but I'm yellowing in. Okay. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. He's dead. <laughs> no, 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 he's fine. 
No, he's pretty dead. No, no, no. He's he's gonna be totally fine. Is there any way that he could be fine? One, one, and then minus one. One, one, acid. and then yeah. I mean, that's four damage minimum that he's but gonna take he off. He takes of this, armor right? reduction just from this guy right here. So. Oh. It did kill this other guy though. Yeah. Worth but. It. Zero HP. <laughs> oh, Nelly. Oh. <laughs> For the family. That Defend me, worst. fellow big hand. That was the worst. If only I was the old guy. <laughs> See, and that's like, oh man, we totally want to have. Ah, oh, that's the. You're the worst, big ham. Just let him that the other way. That was a glazed big <laughs> ham right there. Big ham. What is Caps Lock doing? Oh sweet, Caps Lock will actually cycle backwards. I didn't know that Chad had hooked that up. Thanks, Chad. Oh man, come on, everybody. Okay, we gotta kill this guy, right? Yeah. Oh, this is really bad though because this this uh, bulwark's gonna wake up and then run over here and do a triple shot along these guys. Can, can your I other guys stun? Get... Let's see, this guy can't. This oh dude, yeah, he can't make it. This dude can't make it. I think that I can avoid it though by going over here. Yeah, he's still gonna hit two of them. He's still gonna hit two of them though. Yeah, but at least we at least we got the kill there. And then I just need to make sure that this guy's not gonna. Wait. It's so hard to oh, tell. Oh, no, no, no. Check this out. I got it. You ready, Philip? You're going to tell him. Yeah, right? Nice. That was good. Yeah, that'll be nice. That'll avoid some... Oh, and he was Wait, still his... stunned. Why was he still stunned? Sometimes Shouldn't it lasts stunned. more than one turn, actually. Yeah, that we got to we gotta fix that one. That's how the big hams roll. Stunned for multiple turns, yo. <laughs> nice. We'll always remember John Big Ham. <laughs> yep. Served us well, John Big Ham. <laughs> it's a bummer. You know, that was my least, nickname in high school, Big Ham. At least this 69-year-old man lived through it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, I'm going to retire now. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not going to make it. What do, you, what do you like here? The rebound or the fury? I like the rebound. Yeah? It's fun. I'm a rebound man myself. <laughs> that was not a euphemism. I should go. Also, this we got to take this out. <laughs> this is yeah. like the weird, the weird debug thing. So sometimes it just, but this is sort of how it's, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, sometimes when it's late, I'm, I'll just drink some beers and just, and just do this. that thing. Yeah, <laughs> and just, just watch this. it out like, oh, okay. the cadence lives. Well, I think the, the legacy of the big hams is gonna, probably gonna call it quits here. Got yeah. any questions from the chat? What do you, uh, what do you think? Any questions? Oh man, there's the last of a big ham. That's, yeah, that was the, Oh no no the big this guy's still in there Brad, Brad Big Ham still there. Last uh, Smiles asked if a hero dies could they say their battle cry as their last dying breath? <laughs> that could be kind of cool. Or their motto. I would, yeah that could be motto. cool. Or their motto yeah. For the honey glazed ham. Yeah. <laughs> that actually is the motto of the Big Hams. That's true. <laughs> no it's might through righteousness. Might through righteousness. Yep. Also this is great news there are no available heroes to marry. Okay then, Brad will uh, look at him. He's all he's all like, geez. Did you see that? He's just, I just felt super judged by this character in this video game. He was all like, come on, you got nobody? Seriously, uh, nobody. Kafka Syrup asks, how backlogged are we on Bloodline reviews? I'm thinking, you know, a few days, about a few week. days. Yeah, yeah like yeah, we're yeah. we're slogging through them as but fast like, as we can. But we'll, like, yeah, we'll totally, you know, we'll totally have time. Like, you'll have time to review it, and we're not gonna. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. We're not shipping the game for a while. It's totally okay. So I guess this is my this is my chalice powers. So, man, All the way only in. the only the big hams live. I think that I might be down to only big hams at this point. Uh, Gamer Leon asks: Are attributes um, and stats pretty much set besides leveling? Um, but that's no, they're not. I mean, you, we saw all kinds of things that can. You can get new traits from being sent to prison, perhaps. Yeah. Or, uh, the, so it is fixed on a per like every level three Caberjack will have the same stats. Oh right, like skills and abilities. Yeah, totally. totally um, totally. but it's the traits that will be different that will modify those stats, and those are the things we want you to really pay attention to. And that really comes from like playing old XCOM, where like old XCOM, the the trait the stats are just variable. So you, you do a lot of like, it's like sorting through 
apples or something yeah. where you're just like you're just turning them over and you're feeling them and you're like doing all this stuff and you're like looking at the numbers and it's just like it, it's super confusing whereas um this like like just being like okay they're all standard but then the traits like the actual just english words that you read are the things that really influence the character to a high degree and that's what you're kind of like reading and paying attention to the really good thing about that is that it's actually helping create a personality and more character for that character. Because if the stats were just different, like, you know, we have that, like, bear strength or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when you read that, you're like, oh, that guy's really strong. Well, if it was just statistical, you would, you would look in and you'd be like, this guy's got five strength, this guy's got three strength. Like, I don't... I'll okay, this, this one guy's stronger, cool. Yeah. You know, like, whereas when it's like, when we put English to it and stuff, you're like, you're like oh, man, this guy's a cocky bare strength, you know, whatever, and, uh, that's awesome, you know, yeah. like, it, it helps the character stand out more in your mind, I think. It's like, it gets you to the actual sort of personality of the of the hero a lot faster than if you're just, like, sorting through them and, like, you know, just looking at numbers and stuff. Because, yeah. honestly, I feel like most people just want the numbers. Um, yeah, I agree, too. And it also, and for, my, for me as a game player, I feel it helps me fill in the fiction, too. Like, I get to personalize that guy. Uh, and just, but but I have enough information to know that like, oh, he's gonna be stronger than normal. That's all I need to know. That's fine by me. I just, you know, then I get to fill in the rest. Like, you know, this guy, he's a big ham. He is way stronger than the rest. That's how I pick him. You know, that's, um, how, that's how you pick your big hams. Only the strongest um, survive. Check it out. Right? I've got four active big hams. Yeah. Two regent big hams. One scholar. <laughs> no trainees. This is a poor and kingdom. Then a bunch all of the deceased. A oh, bunch man. of dead people. <laughs> Uh, Brad, a true story guy asked a good question, and, and this is kind of at the core tenet of the whole game. Shouldn't heroes live on for a super long time because of the child's powers and the impending war? So, like, why did we choose to keep these heroes in terms of a mortal timeline versus, even though their game spans this this epic timeline? Can you talk, maybe elaborate about that? And that's, that's, oh. that's me from the core tenet of the original Oh, because it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, that's, you know, if we were just like, oh, and the heroes are immortal as well. Well, it's like you just gutted what makes it interesting. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you just let the heroes live forever, then you then you really are just making the fantasy XCOM. You know, yeah. like like the thing that makes the game unique and lets it stand apart is the fact that your heroes do age and die, and they're um, subject to like regular human constraints of like lifespan. You know, so yeah, I mean we we could have gone more fantasy with it and just been like, oh yeah, there could, but, but really at that point it's like, well, it doesn't matter. The, the year could, the war could take place over a year. It doesn't have to take place over 300 years at that point. Like mm -hmm. it can just take place over one year. That's kind of like the XCOM thing. Actually XCOM really does take place only like over a year or two, I think, doesn't it? Like Pretty you're much. going like through months and it's like, yeah, it's like, that's the whole, the whole conflict. And it, and that makes sense then that you're, you're, um, your soldiers like live for the whole thing and it's like they're not aging or, or whatever you know so it's really like trying to find a hook like trying to find something that like sets the game apart and I think it's really yeah. different because not many games do that kind of your characters age and then die and then you have a new generation of characters it, so yeah I really like that uniqueness part um, and that's something I remember one of the, this is a direct quote but like along those lines like you're going to have to deal with your characters dying you, you don't get to hold on to them you know like yeah. Permadeath, right? It's gonna happen. So just get deal with it now. <laughs> here's uh, here's my chalice blast. Oh yeah. We don't call it that, but maybe we should. <laughs> Sounds good. Does, but this is does. this is I just barely limped along and got to the new got to the new heroes. <laughs> and, and that uh, female is really really bad. <laughs> Dimwitted, slow, frail, and then slow learner. This is one of the worst wow. characters I've ever seen. <laughs> I like her blonde hair. <laughs> that's like. That's, Oh, okay. We got a hunter, Christine. Christine Bulltop. This is awesome. Look at this sigil, man. That is really cool. That's super rad. That's, I mean, slow is not great, but she's not bad. And then everyone else is males, so. Wow. So those are my options, huh? Yeah. I've got Brandon Wimes. We got an alchemist at least. That's good. Here, Bingham family will pretty much live on. <laughs> yeah, this is rough. <laughs> Jeff Brickle. 
yeah, it's really, it's been really, really cool and invigorating to like see all the sigils and stuff. Like that's that's been one of the coolest things lately, um, playing the game and seeing them all. Like Randy Harmon. It's not bad. All right. Well, we could continue. So one thing for sure that we have to address is like, like, like I think we're going to be focusing a lot on the strategy layer mm -hmm. and making sure that like the numbers make sense and that the corruption like like mitigating the corruption and battling the corruption, giving you the tools to do that so that you know that like, like you actually feel empowered to like do something about it. Um, and then also problems like this where it feels like all your characters die out, all your heroes yeah. are sort of like going away and it's very hard to um, sort of get through that initial 50, 70 years. That's, um, Chad sort of talks about this like 70 year hump that we have in the game. If you can get through the first 70 years, usually that means you have bloodlines that are going that are like pumping out enough children to like keep you going and you, then you can like actually build more keeps and then you have more kids and then it's like this kind of like rich gets richer kind of thing yeah. that happens. Um, so yeah, we have to try to mitigate that a little bit. I'm not, like we have some ideas, you know, about yeah. um, giving you heroes, I, I don't know how we contextualize it, but giving you a hero as a mission reward so when you beat the mission, like actually having rewards there. It just, we don't have like money in the game, so it's really hard to be like, there's 59 gold pieces, and yeah. you're like, yay. You know, it's like, it's really hard for us to like give you rewards. So you're saying my sense. idea of you found five babies just isn't a good it's, uh, reward? It's just kind of weird, right? Yeah. It feels weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we I'm talked about uh, making the chalice powers easier to get, so yes. then they have uh, diminishing returns after that, so you yep. can actually use them early. I really that like that work. idea of like putting them, uh, like just having them, getting them, Unlocking them earlier in the yeah. tree, and then also having the cost be lower because you know it's like if you look at this, it's like nine, it's like it's shut. It, you know, it's shut it's my chalice off for like nine years. It's like that's rough. Um, but the first, your first sort of recruiting thing that you do maybe only costs you like three or four years. Yeah. But then the next one's going to be like ten years, and then the next one's like twenty. And it's like oh, so you really have to sort of become self-sustainable with your. Um, with your keeps and and like that's how you should be getting kids after like 50 years into the game or 100 years into the game, um, but yeah, we're like we're gonna try that. Like we're gonna try a bunch of stuff and just like see how it works. I think the mission rewards, as long as we can contextualize it, I think it makes sense. Um, it, I think it would be really good, especially when you've got those two or three missions to pick from, and it's like okay, this one will give you uh, a baby, you know, some babies. I think it's good. Get some babies Orphans. that you can that you can then like give to a couple to adopt. Um, this one will give you like a you know twenty one year old hero that okay cool, and then this one will give you like a research credit or something like like speed up your your research or like a scholar we can give you a scholar. Cool. I don't know. There's some things that um, that I think that we could do like that, and then it would make the choice more interesting because then you're choosing between the most corrupted region. It, it, that will pull you in one direction, but then like the reward you need the most will pull you in the other direction, and it'll be a it'll be a tough choice. So, yeah. Um, also, yeah, and then also just the numbers and the corruption gain and all that stuff, making sure that that makes sense. Um, but then also focusing on our PAX demo. So if you're coming to PAX Prime, we're going to be showing the game. Um, please stop by and say hi. Yeah. It will be super sweet. Um, so that's the end of August. We'll definitely have another stream before then. Um, so I think that's it. You got any more questions from the chat? I think that was it. There was... Um, All right, great. I think that was... Yeah, that's uh, the most been covered, and uh, the rest can be asked at PAX. Cool. Well, sweet. We can wrap it up. Thanks for um, thanks for coming. This has been Master Chalice Team Stream 24. Get your bloodline in tonight. Get your bloodline in tonight, and we'll review it um, over the next week. Over the next week. There's a lot of them. Over the yeah. next week, we'll yeah. review them. Uh, and get back to you. And uh, thanks for backing, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Boom. <laughs> <laughs>